In this video, I'm going to demonstrate posting nominal journals. We're going to post a nominal journal with a single contra line, so it'll have many lines, and the opposite side will be posted to a contra line within Sage Line 50. Uh, I'm then going to post a nominal journal with VAT, and again, we have a way of specifying that on the header of the transaction, so I'll be demonstrating that. And of course, post trans can be used to post in stock adjustments, invoices, sales quotes, purchase orders, and many, many other types of transactions. Uh, also helps you with the management of bill of materials, stock uh, price lists, and much, much more. And of course, it's quite feature rich in that we have in cell searching and validation of codes. So you can easily find associated nominal codes for a nominal journal, apartments, and uh, VAT codes, etc. Of course, I'm demonstrating it here with Sage Line 50, but of course, the same functionality will be rolled out to Sage Line 200. So here we are in Excel 2013. PostTrans has been compatible with all versions of Excel since 2000. And having installed PostTrans for Sage, you can see here we have a toolbar. So I'll just select that. And this gives us access to the six PostTrans toolbar buttons. In this example, we're going to post a nominal journal. So I'm going to load a predefined example by simply pressing help. Now help usually gives us a context sensitive help on whatever we've got loaded at present on the top portion here but down below it gives us access to existing examples and there are many of them so let's just open nominal journal to column and here we can see a simple nominal journal uh, with a series of credits and debits the first one's for 200 followed by four debits of 50 pound each post to these nominal journals here so you can see in PostTrans template, we actually have an area up the top here for the transaction header information. In the case of a nominal journal, it's pretty simple. So we've got date and reference in this example, followed by the lines of information from row 30. Now, we can group and hide this section here. Now this section here, you see in row 28, it contains a series of tags. And those tags tell PostTrans what to expect in those lines of data from row 30 onwards. We can easily access them tags by pressing the tags button up here and inserting them by just double clicking on them into the template. So the template is easily customizable and there's a video on that which will be explained at the end of this video, how to access it. Um, so let's post this transaction just to show you how it works. Let's just press the import button. So this is the uh, summary of the transaction before I put it in, this, in this case a nominal journal. Obviously I can cancel it from here or I can post it. So let's post that transaction. Ah, now we can see it's posted five lines and it's put in the journal reference in for each line. It's also worth pointing out that it ignores any lines that have no value. So you could put in a whole series of nominal lines in here and just enter those that you want to put a value against and then post that and it will ignore the other lines. As long as it balances, it will be put in. Now, in this format, we showed a credit and a debit column, but it's also possible to use a tag called TL amount to specify credits and debits in one column. And as I said in the intro, we're going to do, look at a quant contra account journal. So this one actually has a specified contra account in the header, followed by the department of the contra account and its description. Now, if I didn't want the user to see that, I could easily just drag that over to the right there and hide it, maybe make the columns um, narrow so you wouldn't be able to see that information. Let's just undo that. So we don't necessarily need to see the contra information at the top, but obviously there's the journal. So we've still got £50 deposit into each line. Let's just post that and just show you it in action. OK, and that's posted in much the same as we saw the other example. OK, let's press the no, let's uh, clear down those lines of information. Just press the delete button on them. And I'm just going to enter some things like car hire. So I'm just going to type in this C-A-R and select car hire. You see every, all the lines have been filled in with the default department, etc. So I'm just going to put in 50 again there. And let's see what else we've got relating to car. Uh, not a lot. Let's just put carriage in instead. Let's put 75 against there. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to post that. But that shows you how the in-cell searching works, that things have been updated. Let's just prove uh, another point. Let's just put to 7. I'm just going to type 7 and tab away. And you can see all my nominal codes there that begin with 7. So I'm just going to 
book in staff salaries is probably not very applicable. And I'm going to type a four in the department just to show you that it's changed at the department. And of course, if I press space and tab, and now we're on the tax code, so it's going to show me all my tax codes. You can see there I can select a different tax code. So I'm going to enter 120 there, and I'm just going to press the import button. And again, post trans will scan through there, give me the summary, and post that into Sage. So let's just see that into Sage. So that's journal. Uh, the journal debit is 1314. So let's switch over to Sage. Let's just reorder the screen. 1314. So that would be that's our car hire, 50 pound. Our carriage of 75. Staff salary is 20. And there's the contra line it's made up. And there's the description, which I think would be in here. So there's the admin costs line. Now, this is this actual example relates to a blog article. So there's a link to the blog article there. So if I open the web browser, we can see it's gone to our website and that actual individual blog article, which will contain this video after I've finished. But it shows you their tags of interest and talks about that individual feature of post trans let's switch back because we're now going to post a nominal with a vat amount so in this one we've extended that and we've put on the tax contra nominal so that's our tax uh, nominal account and we've got several lines but this time if we book anything to a vat rate it then puts the vat into that nominal specified on the header so let's just prove that let's put again car hire of a hundred pound I'm going to put admin and let's select a VAT amount and one two two and you can see there the tax amounts been calculated now that's the tax amount with whatever rate is defined against that tax code it's worked out automatically Okay, we can of course review that total at the top there and now if I press the import button we should see the tax amount and part of the summary okay and now we can post that and again if we just slightly rearrange that row we can see the references so the first line is 1318 so again we go to Sage just rearrange the screen to refresh it and now we can see the training costs the car hire etc and there's the nat there's the vat amount it calculated 44.4 and the overall contra against the credit card account so i think we can see there how flexible it is at posting a nominal journal and of course as i said earlier you can ignore um, zero value lines so you could create a whole sheet with calculations on to post nominal journals into Sage, or you could bring in, you could import a text file such as a credit card statement, and with some V lookups and etc., you could post a whole journal based on the imported data into Excel. So I think that concludes our look at importing nominal journals using PostTrans into Sage Line 50. If you're watching this video from YouTube, to go to our website, simply click on the link in the description below. If you're already on our website, you can scroll down slightly and below this video you'll probably see some related links to associated articles. Let's just show you some of the resources on the website. Switch over, here's the home page. You can see here we have a series of menus at the top and if you allow them to expand, you can see there all the different types of importation or extraction you can use with Post Trans and Sage and also the transactions you can post. But importantly, there's a training section here. If we go to the training section, that describes in detail how to alter a post-trans template using the tags that we briefly discussed in the demonstration. Also on the website is a blog which you can subscribe to, and I thoroughly recommend that, so then you can learn of new functionality and uses of post-trans. Because each of these articles maybe hones in on a particular function, a particular tag, or a particular way of using the product to do a particular um, job. For instance, expanding bill of materials on an order, code searching, protecting templates, importing CSV files, pricing, managing VAT, order currency, you name it, it's all in there. Uh, and that is easily accessible from the software itself. So if I switch back to a template, and this one's an order template, and I've just got the 
tag window open here on the right but you'll see as I scroll down this one here um, TL description which is the actual product description actually has a blog article so clicking on there takes me to that blog article and explains in great detail the implications of using that tag and the many different options maybe in system setups alters and behavior of that tag so hopefully that will help also we have uh, the help button itself on the button bar which takes you to kind of a context sensitive help um, and also takes you to the training page which explains how to manipulate and alter that template and in addition to all that of course we have these blue help buttons here which are easily accessible they're also in the setup windows within post trans so again that takes you to a blog article for instance this one's about making the cursor follow a certain path that will then take you to that article and explain how you customize that individual functionality so there i hope you've seen um, many different functions and um, online resources that we provided you to enable you to customize post trans to create a template to uh, help you or your customers so i uh, thank you very much for watching this video